Alright guys, we are in single back wing slot today in Jacksonville's playbook. Nice little scheme here, heavy scheme. Um, two tight ends on the field, love that. Come on, inside cross. And, I mean, we'll go 2 4 5 this this video. That sounds pretty good. So these are going to be all your plays for this uh, little mini scheme, four plays. Inside cross, you love to see it. I mean, you can run this stock, pretty simple. Crossers, pull the linebacker tight in the middle, right? Go into replay real quick. And of course we're gonna get covers either this next play. Right, crossers, well drags I guess, not really. Same same difference though. So if you see one of those, I mean you can always throw that. But once this middle guy moves out of the field, once your made Edmonds kinda goes with the crosser, you already know this play this is gonna be open. So we'll run that again. I mean here we're just gonna get cover zero so it doesn't matter. So let's try it again, one more time. <laughs> yeah, and shout out to the Jags too, man. I'm beating the Bills, that's that's tough. It's tough, man. We got we got Molly Wopped right there. And against man, of course those drags are gonna be good. Especially you get multiple tight ends that are or or at least one tight end that's really fast. Um Pitts was free. Yeah, I think he had 89 or 90 speed. Pitts is really good there. A lot, a lot of good tight ends there. And of course you get your second receiver that's um, hopefully a burner too. You got a running back on a wheel route. You're, it's just a good, again, pulls the linebacker even that little bit. Let me go into replay. Let me go into replay. Unless this is a user. I mean, if this is a user, you got to watch. Right, but this, oh, wrong linebacker. This linebacker just kind of gets lost in the wash here just with these crossers and stuff. But if that's a user, you do got to watch because if they have lurker or if they're on a safety, they might pick that and they might pick that. So the next thing you can do to this play is just simply streak your tight end. Use him as like a clearing route. Well, ideally, right? Use those two. And of course, we're going to get stupid, stupid uh, defenses here. But yeah, streak your tight end. You can clear them out, right? You have your drag underneath. Give it a chenault. Let him do his thing, especially if you have one of those shifty receivers in that spot. So next play, you're going to go to your run play, and there is a weak zone bubble if you prefer the weak zone bubble, but I like the stretch. Obviously, that's a good look to run the stretch against. And yeah, I mean, the stretch is just so good, right? Like, you really can't go wrong. And they cover. You get outside, though. Pick up four, five, six yards. That's what you like to see. And that's pretty simple, right? I mean, we've all ran the RPO before. Hold it in to give it to your running back. If not, there you go, you see your receiver. Give it to your receiver, pick up seven, eight yards. Pretty simple on the RPO, right? Um, to read there. And in terms of this play, I really like to just run it stock. I mean, if you want to, again, streak your, that outside tight end, you can. That wing tight end. But I mean, you have, you have the money routes on this play, man. This is your money route play, like, what did we get there? Was that, was that cover two? Because, I mean, that's kind of money. That's what you want, right? Yeah, they drop back into like a... Yeah, like a cover two, looks like here. I mean, you have your backbreaker, little post right there with with um, with your receiver there. And, of course, these, these, uh, these dang post routes here, these corner routes, are they just rip up zones this year, man. They just tear them up. Like right here, I mean, you're going to be able to fit... Like, that's just what you love to see. You just, you love to see that look against this play. Really, anytime I see too high, there's a good chance I'm gonna be running this, man. Like here, I mean, they drop back too high, give you a cover too low. I mean, that's just easy to put the ball in, you know? So we'll run one here with streak this guy, streak Dan Arnold. And you see here, I mean, he's just the same thing, kind of a clear out route. And hopefully you have Gunslinger too. Hopefully you don't have just Trevor Lawrence with no abilities. Hopefully you have like a gunslinger or something like that. Someone with good throw power. Again, against man, hopefully you have a better tight end as well, right? Hopefully you don't have the Jags, but run it again. A little play action. Reed puts that, um, who is that? Trey White in no man's land. Complete the pass. Make sure he catches it. But yeah, this is just a great, great, great play here. See if we can't get, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And there you can kind of see, if we had time, the B route was, that's going to be your man beater. It's going to get over the top of a lot of different stuff. In here, I mean, we're just trying to force it in. That was like a weird cover three look there. It looked like with the linebacker dropping into a deep, a deep zone. And yeah, I mean, you can just see kind of, kind of almost getting over the top of everything. That's your money route, though. As you know, I mean, you've seen that in a ton of different plays. A ton of different plays. Pretty easy read. Good routes on it. Gets tender spots in the uh, gets tender spots in the zone. So here, what I like to do is delay fade. They did fix delay fades. They're on a timer now, so we'll go over that here. Delay fade goes out after your play action. Hopefully, your guy doesn't get caught up on the linebacker. Let's run that again. And I mean, or you don't even have to delay fade. You can streak him. You can put him on an out if you see an opportunity there. This guy is your block and release flat. Leave him on that. I mean, if you see that he's leaving that part of the field open, you can curl anything. Put him on an in. Do something like this. Hopefully, right, easy completion. Pick up a ton of yards. Don't throw a pick to the linebacker like I almost did. But I really like this because your run is your main. Like here, I mean, you get a good look to run. That's what you're looking to do out of this formation, right? You're looking to run. So maybe you come out in the zone weak RPO, and then you have your stretch RPO, and you have all these pass plays. And then you want to run the ball out of this because even here, I mean, they have three guys over there, but still. You hand the ball off, you just get outside. Hopefully, you, I mean, James Arnold, he's pretty fast, but I mean, we have faster running backs than Mutt here. So you get outside and just call plays for no reason. You get outside. I mean, you can you, you guys have ran stretches. I mean, you get you can break, break big runs off of those. So if I can speak. But that's the best part of this is the run plays. Not so much the run plays, just the run plays. The run plays mixed with the pass plays and the play action plays is what is really good. And the delay fade's still really good, man. I mean, you run your play action, he goes out, and you can kind of almost aggressive catch that if you get if you get a good look. But yeah, I mean, the delay fade's still really good. Putting him on, not a blocking, putting him on an in is also really good. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's terrible. That's awful. I'm making this, you're not gonna, everybody's clicked off the video right there. It's here, right, you get him, you get him. It's kind of like almost a screen pass over there too, if you just like dump it off to the running back, anything. Anything over there is fair game. And of course you still have your post route to your B receiver if you want to take your shot. Or if you kind of get man like that, yep. With Hopefully no one's over the top and you can fit that ball in there. But that also is going to beat man most of the time. So if you get your man over the top like this. And just to show you, I'm just going to max protect. All right, and there's your man beater with the beat route. And there's your backbreaker on that play as well. So you have a good, good combination of deep passing plays, good concepts within the passing plays that, like this inside crossers, right? You have crossers play filling over the middle wheel route and a streak would be clear out your B route. You have, you have different stuff here. I mix with, mixed in with the run plays on a heavier set, that's a recipe for success, right? Because a lot of these people do go to nickel. And you put two tight ends out there that can even decently block. I mean, this is what you're looking at, right? Like, this is what you're looking at. That's what you're looking at in the game right now. So, if you can catch them in these sets, I mean, make them go to, make them play 4-3. Make them put four guys down, right? Don't make them get out of nickel. If you're running the ball, they're going to have to. If you don't run the ball down their throat. And if they, I mean, even if they're not, you can still throw the ball out of this, which is really good. So it's a really good scheme that I really like out of this Jacksonville Jaguars playbook of all things. So yeah, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys liked it. If you did all that stuff, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'm out.